Yo, what's up guys? Teacher Paul over here and I have just recorded a video about the top 10 facts um, about Sweden, right? Um, the link is in, well, the video is in my channel. I was going to say the link is in the description, but it's not. But <laughs> you can go to my channel and watch that video. But we're here to talk about one thing that after I watched the 10 facts about Sweden, I actually came across a, a movie and I have seen this picture everywhere. If you are in London, if you're based in London, as I am, um, you might have seen this picture every single place. This poster was all over, all over, all over, all over London, London Underground, especially. Um, especially the tube, the underground tube, right? Um, and I didn't know this was Swedish. So let the festivities begin. Festivities begin. So I've seen this so many times and I had no idea this was Swedish or anything about Sweden. But then I came across this movie and I was reading the synopsis. Look, it has an 83% um, on Rotten Tomatoes, a 7.1 on IMDb out of 7. And the synopsis is a couple travel to Sweden to visit their friend's rural hometown for its fabled midsummer festival. But what begins as an idyllic retreat quickly devolves into an increasingly violent and bizarre competition at the hands of a pagan cult. <laughs> I did not get that from the the picture. <laughs> I mean, the picture did not um, seem, you know, as if it was this type of movie. Um, I don't even know what genre this is yet. Let me see. Um, which genre is this? It's a horror, thriller, drama, and mystery movie. Interesting. Budget was $9 million. How did it do? Oh, it's a psychological horror. Horror. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So Ari Aster is a genius when it comes to the horror and thriller genre. But unlike the paranormal and terrifying hereditary Midsummer offers a thrilling drama filled with nothing but humanity for a psycholog psychological thriller along the same lines as Midsommar. Look no further than these riveting and mind-bending movies. Okay, so I'm starting to think this is not Swedish. It just, they just went to Sweden. Where was this made? Now I'm very curious about this. And you guys are <laughs> joining me in this um, discovery, which is what this channel is all about. I, I, uh, I don't do research prior to the video. I do it with you guys so that you guys will have the same feeling as I did um, when I discovered, you know. Um, so this is actually the first time I'm reading about this movie and... It seems very interesting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually watch. Uh, we're going to watch the trailer and I would like to know what 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 you guys um, thought about this. Um, OK, so it's a co-production between the United States and Sweden. The film was initially pitched to Aster as a straightforward slasher film set among Swedish cultists. Okay, this is getting very interesting. And I'm really eager to read the comments. So it's the folklore and real locations. Okay, okay, okay. Where was it made? It was made... Through the majority of Midsommar takes place in Sweden. It wasn't filmed there at all. Okay, really? Rather, it was filmed on the outskirts of Budapest, the capital of Hungary. Reportedly, Swedish law would have restricted film crews from shooting more than eight hours per day there. Interesting. 
Okay, so um, let's go to what you guys are here for. I'm going to react to the trailer. First time watching. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Um, this is just my style. I, I react first time, so I don't do any prior um, research because I feel like that would take away from the video. Um, so I do it here with you guys. <laughs> let's go. I told you that I want to go to that festival in Sweden. No, you said it would be cool to go. Yeah, and then I got the opportunity and I decided Look, I to do it. I don't mind you going. I just wish you would have told me. That's all. From Adi Dude, she's Astor. a therapist. You've been wanting out of this stupid relationship for like a year now. This guy is from... Um, is it The Hunger Games? No. Divergent? No. No, he's a comedian. Okay, he's from a, a movie with Jennifer Aniston, where they cross the border. Okay, okay, okay. And don't forget about all of the beautiful Swedish women you'll meet in June. Okay, guys. That's not her again. Seriously? Babe, what's happening? Danny. I was so very sorry to hear about what happened. I'm sorry. I like the cinematography. I invited Danny to come overhead, to you know even though you're going. indoors. Christian says room. you've got this special week planned. Upside it's down. It's sort of a crazy festival. Special ceremonies and dressing up. That sounds fun. An upside down oh, shot brings like a sensation Welcome of. Welcome and happy midsummer. Of. Skull! Lack of balance. What time is it? Wait, this guy is from. Um, what time is it? Where is this actor from? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I don't know. Is it from Get Out? No, he's not from Get Out. Oh, I know he's from a movie I watched. I forgot. What time is it? 9 p.m. That can't be right. The sky is blue. This is what 9 p.m. is like here. <laughs> Welcome to Europe. <laughs> How long have you two been together? Just over three and a half years. Four years. Really? Yeah. What do you think? It's like another world. Tomorrow's a big day. Is it scary? What is it? It has special properties. The tension is building up. What am I going through? We just need to acclimate. I don't want to acclimate. I want to go. Absolutely not. What's happening? I remember where the actor is from. I don't know why you invited us. That's why you look so guilty right now, because you know. We only do this every 90 years. I was most excited for you to come. Wow. Wow, honestly, when I saw the, the poster, I could not imagine it would be like this horror movie. This reminds me of... Um, I want to say the village. Is it the village? I think it's the village. The village. Yeah, I think it's a it's a yeah, 2004 movie. Um M Night Shyamalan. Yeah, that's it. The village. Kind of like the village. Um and I remembered where the actor is from. He's from The Good Place. He's actually a comedian doing a horror movie. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, it looks very interesting. It looks like this um, psychological thriller. And I like the way they build the tension. You know, they built the tension. Um, from the first half, it was quite a normal movie trailer. And then from the second half, it started building up tension. That's why they didn't pause. That's why they didn't do anything else other than just watch and enjoy. Because the, the tension was building up. Um, but guys... Give me more information about this movie. This seems very interesting. And um, Sweden has a, a lot of um, 
what you call it influence on this movie so i would love to know how sweden connects with this movie um they talked a, a little bit about cultists are there many cults in sweden i don't know uh, i don't know and there was this ari aster is a film director so he is an american film director and what else did he make let's just check that um let me just change the screen there we go okay so he did well nothing that i know i don't know any of these okay but he is best known for hereditary i have not seen that one but guys i just wanted to share my curiosity with you guys because this movie poster was everywhere and by i mean honestly like if you look at the the pictures i thought it was like a historical movie you know um Let's take a look at the pictures. Look, doesn't it look like um, maybe John John of uh, Joan of Arc? You know, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a horror movie. It it, it feels like it's a woman who is uh, on a journey of self discovery. You know, she has flowers on her head. Um, it felt like, you know, it felt like that type of movie. I really thought it was something. Oh, I didn't see this one. This would have been a, a, you know, with the blood coming down, that would be, that would have been an indication. But, you know, these other ones on top, it just feels like it's a, I don't know, like a, a woman in history, you know, maybe um, telling a story of a strong woman in history. That's what I get from that poster. It's almost like a, a, a theatrical poster it doesn't even look like a movie poster um, it looks more like a theatrical a musical something like that a play i don't know that's just my opinion that's what i got from it when i first saw it maybe you guys had the same feeling maybe not let's talk in the description <laughs> let's talk in the comment section and that's it for today thank you guys take care now Bye bye